Moorhead has small community values where people know, you know, family, they know your parents, um, they know each other and they look out for each other. I feel like there's, there's a security within that. Moorhead is just a really great place to live. My name is Jonathan Judd. I am currently the mayor of the city of Moorhead and I've had the pleasure of working with Dr. Bob Zimmerman since 2018. If I had to describe Bob, I would say he is a collaborator. He is always wanting to get ideas, opinions, and thoughts from everyone on the team, even us non-engineers. He is very humble. Uh, he is uh, uh, a person of very few words, but, but when, he, when he speaks, you listen. And I've worked with hundreds of public administrators, both in the city and at state level. And Bob, I consider to be among the very best public administrators I ever worked with. Bob just makes me smile. He is, you know, people tend to think of him as an engineer and then he's down to the facts, but he has a really fun sense of humor. Bob is a neat guy. I really have always enjoyed being around him and talking with him. I think the thing that amazes me is he makes engineering so down to earth. He can lead without seeming, seeming like he's really trying to lead. Uh, he just sets an example and, and people respect him and value his opinion. Well, he's an honest, I mean, he's a, he's a trustworthy person. You know, trust is everything in this game. Sounds a little corny, but he's got this twinkle in his eye. It's almost that like you can feel the trust in the experience and the wealth of knowledge that he has, but I always like, kind of like that twinkle in his eye. Bob um, always treated all his employees with respect and uh, where he's a quiet guy and he doesn't say much, but uh, he's, his, his footprint is real large. A lot of us came here, we were kind of disgruntled with our prior work employment, and Bob's such a good manager, such a good boss, that he, he's kept us all gruntled. And so we like to joke about that, because gruntled is not a word you hear. <laughs> he's uh, you know, not only just someone that's great to work for, but he's a fun person to hang out with, too. I've been working in local government now for over 25 years, and I've had the pleasure to work with a number of remarkable people and professionals and stuff, and Bob really ranks among the best. I mean, he's bright, diligent, hardworking, he cares. Humble, I think humble is a word, and humility is a word you'll find uh, or you're gonna hear from a lot of people that you talk to about Bob. And being as humble as he is, he's probably gonna be a little uncomfortable with it. I didn't even know he was getting this award, actually, until we heard from you guys. He didn't even say a word about it. We saw him for a little bit on Christmas, he still never said anything, we had to bring it up. So he's just a really, really humble guy. In the summer, we used to, or I used to go to the, the wastewater plant and there was a lot of paved surface, so be a, it was a good spot to, to rollerblade and just kind of be at, at work with dad. Definitely watching him growing up influenced the, the career path I chose. And he was always working. He worked Saturday mornings, he worked Saturday afternoons, especially Sunday afternoons, too, when he would come back from the lake or we would leave. He would always be going to work. Um, but he never, and he would never miss this morning event, ever. Seven o'clock in the morning, eight o'clock at night, it didn't matter, he was always there. So it just shows how, he was a great dad. I mean, he was <laughs> put us first and work second, I would say. And I remember talking to Bob saying, well, you know, in the flood book, this and this and this, I said, what's the flood book? He said, 18.5 feet above, that's a half foot above flood stage, we have to do this in the city. At 24 feet, these things have to be done. At 30 feet, these things have to be. And then he got to the last page, and I think it was something like 36.9 or something, whatever the 97 flood was. And after that, there's no more pages. It was amazing how, again, unflappable he, he was. I gotta believe he had to have been panicking, panicking at some level, but he wasn't letting on. One time we just gone through like a $25 million bond, which is pretty good size for Moorhead. And I got, we get on the elevator, we're going up to the office after the city council meeting. And again, the council meeting didn't, I mean, the council read our memos and they, listened to our you know, presentation and we stopped for questions and there were no questions and they passed it. And I got in the elevator with Bob and I looked at Bob and I says, 
what the heck just happened here? I mean, 25, I mean, this is a pretty big deal and they, and they didn't even, I mean, we're, we're loaded. We got all, we can answer any question they got. And they had so much faith in Bob and what he was doing. There was no questions. So that's Bob. So over the last 17 years, we've worked on a large variety of projects, both large and small. The projects include the Main Avenue bridge reconstruction, literally hundreds of flood mitigation projects, plus interstate interchanges, railroad underpasses, uh, you name it. He's, he's been involved in everything in Moorhead. Since 2009, I've worked with Bob on a whole host of flood risk reduction projects, including construction of several miles of levee, uh, the construction of uh, several uh, flood walls and pumping stations, and maybe most importantly, the acquisition and removal of over 250 homes that were subject to flooding uh, on the main stem of the Red River of the North. The flood protection that we have done, uh, not only since 97, but especially since 2009. Uh, flood protection with the city has come a long way to where now with the planning that we do, a flood event isn't a huge emergency to us. You know, we've, we've got everything in place and then it's just following the steps and we can do it fairly calmly, you know, so it's not an emergency. And so that is really, a, I think, a shining example of the technical expertise that Bob had and also the practical approach and, and feasible approach that he had to try and solve problems. He was very much a good sol problem solver for us and uh, it paid dividends to the city of Moorhead. Bob was deserving of this award because he's, he's done so many things for the city of Moorhead and really truly cares. The city council might take that for granted, but they have an engineer, an all-star engineer uh, with Bob Zimmerman. I'm actually surprised you didn't get it sooner. When I meet other mayors, they're envious that I have Bob. You know, we do this teasing thing about like, you can't have him. He's promised me he'd stay the whole term for me. He deserves it for all the, the hard work he's done over the past, specifically the past like 10, 15 years with uh, protecting the city of Moorhead, all of the, the levy construction that they've got done. So Bob's good nature and warmth is, it's like infused with this unusually strong work ethic and a good, great sense of humor, and it just makes him a joy to work with. I mean, he's made such a, a, a great uh, impact on me as a leader <clears throat> and for growth that I'm just really happy that he is publicly, you know, getting the props, if you will, uh, that he deserves for all the work and dedication he's put into his job. So, realistically, I, I really am blessed to uh, have him here as a staff member and a trusted advisor. Good job, Dad. Um, we all wish we could be there together to, to see you get this award and celebrate with you. Congratulations, Dad, and thank you for making Moorhead flood free. Thank you for making Moorhead a lot more livable. Thanks for making Moorhead better. More innovative. More resilient. Congratulations, Bob, and thanks for making Moorhead a place that people call home. Congratulations, Bob, and thank you for making Moorhead strong. 